Hi guys, um, so this is just a news update. This is a follow-up on the most dramatic news piece that we talked about in the last video, uh, which was an article with Mark Harmon that sort of implied that someone or multiple people might be leaving the show. So a little bit of backstory, um, this article was also posted on uh, a live journal community, spoilers for NCIS, which is like one of my favorite places to hang out. I love it. If you're a live journal and you like NCIS news, you should like definitely join. But anyway, so once the article went up, there was like a bazillion comments and they ranged from, you know, sheer panic that someone was leaving to people just being like, it's no big deal, to people accusing the author of just trying to rile stuff up. Uh, there was a lot of comments. I read some of them after a while, just started to be like, ah. Awesomely enough, the author of the article, Will Harris, actually responded to one of the comments and he provided a bit of the transcript from the article. Dude, that is so cool. Um, I don't know if you're ever going to see this or if you even care that I think you're cool, but just for the record, I think you're cool. The post is actually quite long, so I'm not going to read it because it'll take up like half the video. And it'll actually be quicker if you read it yourself, so I just put it down in the bottom bar. Um, so if you want to pause this video around now, I'm going to read it. I'm just going to go on to talking about what I think of that post. Okay, so after reading that, I now kind of have two things that I think it is. Is it 100% clear? No. Is it anyone's fault? No. <laughs> I One, I think that it might be Vance that's leaving, because we know Vance is kind of emo with his injuries, as we saw in Recruited. Anyway, um, so it could be Vance that's leaving. I mean, directors, we kind of cycle through them a lot. Uh, Vance is, you know, a character that I like, but it wouldn't be heartbreaking if he left. Like, I'm just starting to like him, but I'm not really attached to him. Like, if, you know, Tony or Abby or Ziva or Gibbs or whatever. If, like, they left, it'd be, like, devastating. I think it'd be better if he didn't die and he just, like, you know, maybe took a less stressful job and spent more time in his family. Because, like, if he dies, he's got the two little kids to leave behind. That's so sad. I mean, it happens, but it's sad. Yeah, and then there was, I think there was also a spoiler a while back. Vance was going to get in some trouble and take some heat. Um, from like a State Department guy, so that could also play into his storyline. I have a feeling it's going to be in Defiance, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, the second possibility that it seems like maybe some familiar faces are returning. I don't think they're talking about season 9, I think they're just talking about sort of the second half of the season that some characters that you know, we've met earlier are going to return, and then some aren't. I think that that might just be what it means. That some people that like we've seen before are coming back in flashbacks or not, and some aren't, which is very simple. So, um, I don't know. So what do you guys think after reading that? Is it clarified for you? Do you, do you know what it means? Are we good now? What are we going with here, guys?